be in junction in uh, uh, with the with the with the applied external electric field due to the battery VR, and the connections are as such that the uh, n-type region of the semiconductor is connected to the positive terminal of the battery, and the p-type uh, region of the semiconductor is connected to the negative of the supply. Okay, negative of the battery VR. Now, as a result of this uh, battery potentials, what happens is that your E field, which is already established due to the uncovering of uh, positive uh, donor impurities in n-type region and the negative uh, accepted impurities in the p-type region, you, have, you already have a uh, depletion or a space-free charge region, which is the p junction over here. Uh, you already have an electric field, okay, which is holding back the diffusion of uh, holes from P region to N region and uh, electrons from, you see, the, the, the electrons over here, they cannot go on diffusing uh, in, in the current scenario and the, the, due to the establishment of the electric field, it cannot go on uh, diffusing towards the P-type region. It, it can't do that because of the force it's going to experience, the repulsive force it's going to experience due to the established electric field due to the uncovering of ions. So similarly, holes cannot, uh, you know, uh, diffuse uh, further into the uh, into the n-type region because of the, again, the force that has been established by the E-field. So what happens is that now if you apply the battery potential as such, uh, and the, 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 the battery is connected as such, uh, the negative is with the P-type region and the positive is with the n-type region, uh, it, it, it enhances the strength of this E-field. So it, it, what, what, what happens is that since the, the doping concentrations are not changing, the electrons, you can, well, one version to understand is that electrons, they are going to tend to, I mean, the negatively charged uh, majority carriers in the n-type region are going to be more bunched together. They are going to be much uh, concentrated near the battery terminal, the positive battery terminal. And similarly, the holes are going to be much more uh, concentrated in the region where you have that negative battery terminal. And somehow this E field, again, is holding back the diffusion so you have more uncovering of the charge. I mean, first of all, I mean, initially it could be like this before uh, VR is applied, okay? I mean, before VR is, when VR is zero, okay, you don't have anything, you no, no application of external bias. But then if the external bias is being increased in this polarity, okay, in this fashion, then what happens is there's, there's more uncovering, there's more, the, the depletion region is, uh, the width of the depletion region, W, is increasing, okay? And it uncovers more ions resulting in a stronger electric field, resulting in a hold back of holes and electrons diffusing on either side. So this is this is called the reverse biased uh, reverse biased PN junction. In reverse biased PN junctions, the polarity are as such that the negative of the bias is connected to the P-type region and the positive of the battery external bias is connected to the N-type region. And uh, owing to that, the electric field enhances and uh, it widens the depletion region or the space free charge region. So, uh, assuming a positive voltage is applied to the n type region of a PN junction as shown in figure 1.13, this is figure 1.13. Um, uh, the applied voltage VR induces an electric field, EA, in the semiconductor. And you note that the, the direction is again in the same direction as that of the uh, field produced due to the uncovering of ions on either side of the semiconductor. Now, the, 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 the direction of the applied electric field uh, is it the same as that of the E field of the space charge region? The magnitude of the E field in the space charge region increases above thermal equilibrium value, right? I mean, the thermal equilibrium value was when the diffusion of the holes and uh, electrons on either side of the semiconductor was due to the concentration gradient, due to the doping concentration, due to the different doping concentration, there was a concentration gradient. So, a time comes when the uh, diffusion process stops and the E field balances out that. Uh, uh, balances out the diffusion process, so we, we, we had the thermal equilibrium. Now, the thermal equilibrium is disturbed because of the external bias, and as a result of that, the E field uh, tends to uh, be stronger than before, increasing the, or widening the, uh, resulting in widening of the depletion width, okay? So this uh, increases the E field, holds back the holes in the P region, and the electrons in the N region, the majority carries in both regions. So there is essentially no current across P N junction. So the P N junction is reversed by so the current is zero. Okay, we don't have any flow of current. I mean, current is zero across the junction. 
So uh, because there are no charge carriers being flown, being being uh, I mean uh, flowing from one region to another region. Okay, so by definition, this applied voltage polarity is reverse bias. Reverse bias or forward bias has to do with the polarity. In forward bias, we will see that the, the terminals are in the are reversed. Okay, so the positive is connected to the P type and the negative is connected to the N type. And you can guess that the depletion rate is going to decrease. Okay, so the reverse bias or uh, forward bias P N junction it has to do with the polarity of the external bias. Okay, so you see when the electric field in the space charge region increases, the number of positive and negative charge they must increase. Okay, so you can see over here the charges are increasing on either side. So, but but however, the doping concentrations are not, are not changed. Okay, they don't uh, they stay the same. So the increase in the fixed charge can only occur if the width of the space charge region increases, and that, that happens in the reverse bias P-N junction. Okay, I mean the widening of the space free charge region happens when the polarities are, are as such negative connected to the P type, and uh, the positive of the uh, external battery is connected to the N type semiconductor region. So therefore, with an increasing reverse bias uh, voltage VR, the space charge width W also increases, and this effect is shown in Figure 1.4. Now, as a result of that, as further result to that, uh, further to this, what happens is that due to uh, widening of this space charge region, you have a you create a junction capacitance, okay, because of the additional charges. So increasing the space charge width, uh, with an increase in the reverse bias from VR to VR plus delta VR. Uh, you're creating additional charges, right? And this leads to the junction capacitance. Right? This gives some further interesting properties to PN junction devices. For example, you cannot have a, a zero switching times. I mean, a capacitor cannot charge and discharge instantly. So, uh, because of the junction capacitance, they are going to be switching transients uh, because of the uh, a certain depletion width, which has charges. So, th you can consider this and depletion width as a, as a capacitor, okay, it's a parallel plate capacitor now. So, um, the junction capacitance or the depletion layer capacitance now can be written in the form of, uh, and it's, 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 it's again, you can see it's a function of the applied bias VR, and you will see that as you are going to increase the bias in the reverse bias, the junction capacitance tends to decrease, okay, so with increasing bias, uh, the junction capacitance is going to decrease. VBI over here is the barrier potential uh, due to the, um, due to the, uh, donor concentrations of uh, uh, pentavalent or trivalent impurities, right? Where, um, and CGO over here is the junction capacitance with zero applied voltage, okay? So when VR is zero, CGO, CG is CGO when uh, uh, the reverse bias voltage is zero, right? So that's, that's the inherent junction capacitance with no external bias. But as you increase, uh, as you increase the bias, your junction capacitance is going to decrease, okay? And normally this junction capacitance is in the order of picofarads, a very small capacitance. Uh, the junction capacitance will affect the switching characteristic of PN junction. The voltage across the capacitance cannot change abruptly, instantaneously. The changes in the voltage in circuits containing PN junction will not occur instantaneously, okay? So that's one thing that you should remember for PN junction devices like diodes and transistors. Now the capacitance voltage characteristics uh, can make PN junction useful for electrically Tunable resonant circuits, okay, and junctions fabricated specifically for this purpose are known as varactor. These, these varactor diodes are uh, special purpose diodes, which we are we will talk about more in the later videos. So, varactor diodes can be used in electrically tunable, for example, oscillators like culprits or oscillators, oscillators, or in tuned amplifiers. For example, they they can be used in radio amplifiers for tuning uh, into a certain uh, uh, radio station, okay, whichever is uh, desirable to be uh, heard, okay? So, uh, these PN junctions, they give very special properties to semiconductor devices like diodes, transistors, and then we have special purpose diodes which can be put up in such applications, right? For tuning, for example. So, I mean, a uh, vector diode is going to have a variable capacitor, right? And uh, you see in a, uh, if you have a vector diode, or let's say you have, uh, let's say, uh, Parallel LC combination. Okay, so let's have let's let's assume you have a parallel uh, capacitor with a, with an inductor, and that's variable. So the frequency, the resonance frequency of such a circuit in parallel is given over one over two pi square root of LC, right? 
so if you are going to you know um, if you can tune the uh, if the capacitor is tunable then you have a tunable resonant frequency and, an, and, you, and you can select the Q of the circuit the Q of the circuit is the uh, is, it has to do with the selectivity okay how much sharp the characteristics are at the resonance frequency so the 3 dB bandwidth becomes smaller you can you can adjust that those things I mean the FR is adjustable right F, uh, FR is adjustable so FR is the resonant frequency which is set by the capacitance and you can uh, you can set it to any desired radio station if it's a radio receiver for example or any application I mean if it, it, it could be a tuned amplifier for example at which the power is being transmitted so FR in, uh, over here is again is again tunable it's again tunable okay okay now uh, this example shows the calculation of a junction capacitance for typical PN junction and we are considering silicon at room temperature with the doping concentrations of the acceptor and donor impurities given as such so assuming thermal equilibrium conditions uh, let the junction capacitance be 0.5 picofarads without any bias so all you have to do is to evaluate the junction capacitance for the given reverse bias voltage so the first thing is to find the barrier potential which is in terms of the donor concentrations and thermal equilibrium values of uh, the concentrations of uh, the charges is given was given in example uh, 1.1 you can check it over here there uh, and then you have the thermal voltage uh, vt as 2.6 millivolts you just have to plug in those values and find that the barrier potential is about 0.637 volts and uh, then if you apply one volt of uh, reverse bias uh, the, the bias is as such that the polarity are the p type region is connected to the negative of the battery and the n type region is connected to the uh, positive of the battery okay as we have seen over here before uh, so <clears throat> if the magnitude uh, is one volts uh, then you can find that you can you can plug this value over here in the junction capacitance <coughs> formulation and you can find that this is this turns out to be small capacitance of 0 0.312 picofarads now if you increase from 1 volt to 5 volts uh, the reverse bias voltage the bias is increased the capacitance is decreased okay so the magnitude of junction capacitance is usually uh, low it's in picofarads range uh, but it tends to decrease as the reverse volt, reverse bias voltage increases okay as the reverse bias voltage is increasing you understand that the uh, depletion rates is increasing okay depletion rate is increasing due to the to the charges okay i mean you will have plus delta q minus delta q except i mean the the same uh, explanation follows that um, the space charge region and his region is widening and you are uncovering more and more uh, uh, ions on, uh, on either side of p and n type regions okay and uh, you but you cannot go on uh, you know increasing that uh, width of the space charge uh, space free region uh, because what have what's going to happen is that in in, uh, in 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 a limiting case you're going to burn out the device and then there's going to be a flow of large uh, the charge carriers will be free to flow in a very large magnitudes and it's going to result in a very huge uh, uh, breakdown current okay I mean a typical characteristic of a uh, uh, in a reverse bias or PN junction is, is as such so if for example you are going to apply uh, polarity this is this is VR okay uh, and then this is the current of uh, uh, from uh, uh, flowing in the PN junction so when VR is negative in the region when VR is less than zero okay this is the origin uh, there's going to be there's not going to be any uh, substantial current any significant current okay uh, if there is some diffusion current fine but you're not going to have any drift current for example or uh, diffusion current itself is going to be halted by the uh, widening of the space recharge region and in the thermal equilibrium condition you don't have any significant current so but what happens is that if you won't increasing uh, the bias right the bias then you break down the device so then the, the charges are free they there will be an avalanche of charges I mean so this happens at a typical breakdown uh, let's call this VB so we are going to uh, talk about more about the breakdown voltages in the upcoming lectures as well so you cannot do this indefinitely you cannot go on and uh, increasing the bias uh, indefinitely uh, because that's going to produce a large flow of current when the device is going to break and then due to the current there will be heating and the device is going to burn out okay so as implied in the previous section the magnitude of the electric field in the space charge region increases as the reverse bias voltage increases and the maximum electric field occurs at the metallurgical 
uh, junction, the PN junction. So neither the electric field in the space charge region nor the applied uh, reverse bias voltage can increase indefinitely because uh, at some point the breakdown is going to occur and a large reverse bias current is going to be generated. And we don't want that. That means you are burning out the device, you are burning out the PN junction diode. Okay. So, so that's about the reverse bias uh, PN junction. It's about the polarity. Okay. Uh, if you change the polarity, you can forward bias it, uh, which we're going to talk about in the next video. So, uh, so that's all. Okay. Uh, the important thing that uh, this uh, uh, PN junction diodes have is is the junction capacitance, and uh, those these devices they don't have uh, instant switchings because of the junction capacitance. And this junction capacitance again is a the function of the reverse bias voltage, okay, which you cannot go on increasing indefinitely. That's going to burn out the device. But in the reverse bias, you don't have any current, okay, because of the widening of space precharge region. And uh, the junction capacitance is a function of this reverse bias voltage, which decreases uh, with increasing uh, reverse biasing magnitude. Okay, that's all.